Just a reminder before we begin the video that we've actually got a competition at the moment. If you head over to the video, I'll link in the description. Uh, you've got the chance to win the online stock a Spotify bat that I've knocked in. It's ready to go. Need 200 more likes and subscriptions and comments. Uh, it's as simple as that. So head over to that video once you've watched this. And once we hit 500 likes on that, then we'll be able to give that away. Hey everyone, welcome back to Cricket Bat Info. I'm your host Mark, and this is what we do. We review cricket bats. And on this channel today, we'll be looking at a Robinson Sports signature in the Virat Kohli shape. So firstly, thank you very much to a long time subscriber and supporter of the channel for supplying three bats that you're gonna see over the next coming weeks, uh, including the Kookaburra uh, Ghost in the Labashane that you just saw. Uh, this is his um, Kohli made by Robinson Sports. So in full disclosure, I've actually filmed this once before and I kept referring to it as the Finch profile because I misread all my messages. So I thought, well, I'm just gonna refilm the whole thing from the start. Uh, but since then, I've actually had to knock it in myself or re-knock it um, and change the scuff sheet on it. So I'll get into that as we go through. So this is their um, signature, which I believe is their top willow. Uh, I'm not 100% sure whether or not this is supposed to be the, the signature willow or he just said um, throw those stickers on it. He bought two bats from uh, Robinson's, which I don't know the pricing on. And this is one. One arrived uh, in a knocked state and the other one, which you'll see in the future, uh, was unknocked for me to, to knock so I could have a comparison. We've got here a nice bit of willow. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, seven, eight grains across the front, nice and straight. Uh, the Robinson Sports stickers, they are both textured and embossed with silver and blue highlights, this honeycomb pattern uh, that you can see there, if I hold that up. Uh, you can see there the profile, that's their interpretation of a Vera Coley, um, with a bit of a dip down here, very much a mid-middle. Uh, with that edge actually probably drawing into a mid-low and the spine peaking a tiny little bit higher. But it's a very full bat. And on this side here we've got Robinson's. And I've actually done a shugu toe on it. So you can see there, nice and full through that. Let's put a straight edge on it. You can see there, there's absolutely no concaving on that shape. Uh, it's nice and full all the way through. Now one thing I did notice uh, that I picked up on and passed on to the the owner is that the spine actually, I don't know whether you'll see it, but the spine actually just by a couple of degrees goes towards that, uh, that edge at the top here. It's nice and straight here, but it just goes slightly over. So it's straight here and then it just goes a little bit over. There's nothing much you can do about it, and it doesn't really affect um, the pickup of the bat. So that's a nice full shape. Uh, the handle of it is a really nice oval handle. It's good thickness. Uh, I like the grip. Uh, I've never seen this particular grip before, and it's what I'd call a semi-oval at the top. I'll just roll down this grip so you can have a look. We've got here two red rubbers and a centre cork. I believe it's cork and really nice binding all the way through. So really top quality work. None of this sort of uh, thing you see with some manufacturers where there's bits of sawdust on there, under there or it doesn't look tidy. Some really good quality uh, twine has been used there. Uh, let's have a look at the uh, measurements. So firstly, let's start with that edge there. And that peaks at 37 uh, mil on this side. Let's just see if it's the same on the other side. Yeah, it's identical, so that's pretty good. Uh, 37. Up here we've got... 13.4. And down here at the toe... 24.3. Now you might say, oh, that's not 40 or whatever, but I've got to be honest with you. Because I prepped it, one of the things that I did notice with the knocking, it was really 
it was okay it was okay in the middle um, but it wasn't really rounded enough for my satisfaction at the edges and scuff was already on uh, and when I started knocking it um, they supplied an extra scuff sheet for the other one um, which is here and, and this is actually what it is if I can demonstrate it to you I, I didn't actually mind it initially it's it's got like a really hard polycarbonate uh, backing to it but what I found when I re-knocked on it is that there's a a front I can show you that there's bubbles and that so you've actually got two layers to this you've got the actual uh, front layer which is a thin uh, plastic and then you've got like a polycarbonate so what I found was when I was knocking it in I was getting all these air bubbles so this is actually what was happening there's like a, a front layer and then behind it is this thicker uh, layer here which I don't think would crack or anything but it's actually a doubled layer so when I was trying to just finish off the toe and the edges for him it was all bubbling up and I thought I'll stuff this pulled it all off and uh, gave it another oil and uh, went over it again for him. So yeah, that's uh, basically a little bit of a, a warning uh, for you. If, you. if you do get them to knock it in, just ask them to pay a, a bit of attention to rounding those edges before they put it on, because what will happen is that these uh, edges will, will crack, unfortunately. This polycarbonate does sort of apply uh, some protection to it, I suppose. Um, but as far as the face of the bat, you're still going to have those edges unprotected and if a ball hits those and they're not properly um, knocked in obviously that's where your crack's going to start so that's a little bit of feedback for uh, Robinson Sports maybe switch your um, sheets because in my opinion these are crap so we'll measure in the center of the toe 28 mil and we'll measure the spine and you've got there a lovely 64.7. So with the scuff sheet that I've applied on, it is touching right on the edges of that. It's nice and thick uh, all the way through. So we're definitely getting scuffed 100 and, uh, 109. Um, width is fine. Nice and full through it. Now, one thing I did notice on it, which I'll put the the ruler on, uh, and both of the bats were exactly the same, is they've gone for this slightly longer blade. The blade length is 56 centimeters or 560 mil, and the overall length is about uh, 34 inches or uh, just over 86 centimeters. So they go for a slightly longer blade to aid pickup. So first things first, I'll tell you what I think it feels like in my hands. Now that it's knocked in, to me the bat feels, it feels like a 210, to be honest with you. Uh, and with the shoe goo and the scuff, I, I think I've probably added a little bit of weight. And it's 210.4, and I think it might have added 0.3. So, yeah, it feels, it feels its weight. And that's very typical of bats which have a full profile. Let's now give it a tap up. Starting at the toe. going from here, off center, all the way through. So pretty much from there to there, you've got a massive middle. This is a fine piece of willow, and I've knocked that toe in. Yeah, really nice. Uh, now I did say that there was slight difference between the two, I'll measure that for you, but I don't want to harp on about it because it's just a one-off bat. Um, it doesn't really indicate anything about Robinson. So I can measure here, I've got 57.1, and when I measure it this way, I get 60. So you can see it's slightly shifted um, 3 mil uh, from, from as it's come up. It's like it's just been a little bit more drawn out of this side. This can happen when the bat is being finished. And one thing I will say about Robinson's is their finishing is immaculate. Um, probably the, one of the best, if not the best that I've seen uh, from India. Um, they just really go through so much attention to detail. And these bats are in absolutely stunning uh, condition when they arrive. And you'll see that on the, 
the B-roll that I've done um, in the original state. So yeah, don't get too worried about that. It makes absolutely no difference to uh, the bat as far as the pickup goes. I will just uh, measure the center up here just to see if that makes a difference there. And uh, we got 56.5 and 57. Look, it's maybe one millimeter, but I don't think, I think that's just more how they've shaped it. So it seems to have gone over and then back again. So it's just something that's happened during the shaping. And these are all handmade. So thank you very much to the owner for supplying this lovely Robinson Sports. If you do enjoy what I do uh, and want to come back and watch more, then please subscribe and hit that bell icon. Comment on the video. Always want to hear your comments. I don't have a price for this. They do sell them in Australia. Um, this was bought directly from India. Um, so yeah, I'm sure you can contact Robinsons if you wanted to. Uh, bags there, nice bag. I've expressed my view on full length bags before. They don't go in your, your back caves on your bags. So a bit useless. And uh, there you go. That is a lovely Robinson Sports signature in the Virat Coley profile.